Wimbledon twice. Now, you will know by now that this is First at 5.30's final broadcast. Since they'll be turning off my microphone in a few minutes anyway, I will by necessity keep this brief. There's been a lot written and even more said over the past few months about what is about to happen in the next 62 minutes, the end of News First and then the closure of News Hub. But the reality is that television news is and has always been about the people. So, to all of the producers of all of the shows that I've been a part of in the past three and a half decades, firstly, I am sorry, but mostly, I am grateful. To everyone in every newsroom and studio that I've worked in, thank you. I am grateful for your friendship but also your kindness. Television, and especially television news, is a magical place, and I'm grateful to have worked with and sat next to some of the greats of our business. I won't name names because to start means never to finish, but please understand, this has been quite a ride, and I think I get off it a much better human than when I got on it in 1989. Prime News, as it was uh, then called, relaunched in 2006 with, from memory, two and a half minutes of black, just what felt like an eternity of nothing. We end 18 years later, better, I think, at filling the gaps. Now, in a few moments, they'll turn out the lights for the final time, but before they do, I also just wanted to thank you our audience for always making us feel like what we did mattered, because it did. And regardless of what the accountants might say, it still does. It was a genuine privilege to be invited into your homes at 5.30 every night, and for that, I am truly grateful. To my wife, Michelle, and to my best boy, Alfie, I am grateful for your love and also your support. And with that, until next time, whenever that might be, and noho Goodbye.